What is up guys, I was here, here, Alex bringing you a gameplay commentary and the subject today is Does COD get you girls? Aw, oh, yeah, giggity <laughs> And you're going to be seeing, the gameplay you will be seeing is some Modern Warfare 3 and I've just been recording like a long session cutting the games out which uh, work and I get good scores on because theatre mode is just a liability so uh, I hope you enjoy it, it's a nice 28 to 4 I believe I go in the end, team death match, so yep, yeah, enough about that. And the subject obviously today is, does COD get girls? And if I was a 13 year old lad, a wee lad, I would have said no, no, god no. I'd said like, uh, if someone says you played COD I'd be like, nah, never, never done that in my life, nah. Me, I bench press. That's what I do in my spare time. That's what I said when I was about 13. And if, uh, if we'd had friends round and it'd be any females in the variety, I would have definitely hidden the Xbox away and I'd have got out the weights and I'd dusted them off and be like, yeah, do about a thousand of them a night, probably. <laughs> yeah, I do them in the sleep as well. I'm just, I'm too tank for my own good, really. I would have, then they're the sort of excuses I would have gone for, but no, not anymore. It's a bad way to go about it. You should never be ashamed of who you are. And if you're a Moab master, then by all means, you rock that shit. You do it. You do it, guys. You go for it. And um, so, the other day, we actually had a few friends come around, a few, and it was actually meant to be a revision, but it just, revision never works. Studying just is awful. Who studies? I don't know. And there was me, a few mates, a few girls, and that. And they saw the Xbox and that, and I just thought, oh, screw this, I'll just put COD on. Now, that was a risky move right there, but it is a good move, okay? Because girls are naturally competitive, and if they see you ignoring them because you're playing a game, they will then want to play that game and prove that they, will, well, your their uh, your attention is worth them and that. So they will automatically take an interest. Now, we just started playing casually with things, me and my mate, and then automatically the girls just say they just they just want to jump in. They think they're like Grizz. I don't know where they get it from, I just, I don't know, I think they agree, they jump on the controller thinking it is, and it's just, it's awkward as hell, it's just like, you know, and they can't move, and it's, the player is just like, uh, 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 and they can't reload, and then they can't sort of gun, you tell them to knife, but then they just jump, and it's just like, you're like, really? You could have at least gone on, like, combat training, just to prepare for a little bit, before you jumped in at the deep end, but no, seriously guys, if this, you ever get in a situation where, there is an Xbox and a female in the room. By all means, turn that Xbox on because it's a good way. It's a good way to have fun. And we were just literally just having a laugh. It was like we're just taking the Mickey out of them, saying, "Oh, you're so shit. You're not MLG worthy." And then when they say, "What's MLG?" Don't tell them. Don't give in to it. Just make it up like it's Major League Gherkins. Just say something like that, okay? Don't tell them what it is. Just joke with them. Keep them in suspense because then they'll want to know. And then you'll be like, "Well." I'll tell you what MLG means if you're sitting whispering in their ear and be all seductive and sneaky and whatnot, and that's that's a good way to go about it. Just joking and that. And COD is fun, so COD is naturally, a, well, not naturally, but you know what I mean, guys. It is a fun game to play if you don't take it too seriously. That is so, and you won't be taking it seriously because you don't want to come across as one of them tryhards, and definitely don't do that. If, say, then it comes to your go. Try and impress them a little bit, because people are naturally impressed. If if some, you can't do something, and then you see someone that can do it, your natural instinct is to be impressed. So, by all means, get a Moab. I'm not even joking, just get a Moab. And they'd be like, what's a Moab? And you'd be like, <laughs> only a pro would know what a Moab is. And they're thinking, wow, he's good. He is really good. But don't overdo it, okay? Maybe don't put the Turtle Beaches or Astros on. Maybe keep that. Keep them locked away. You don't want to get too nerdy or maybe put the optic jersey away just for the moment just for the moment and they're impressed okay at the moment they're impressed they're having a good time make fun of them and joke laugh have fun and like I said earlier girls are naturally competitive then they naturally want attention so they will be they will, will be willing to like beat you and do better and you will get the case you won't be like I don't know what I'm doing that one you just smack her you smack her right then you put her in a place so no no! And you just, you, you put an end to that, okay? And then when they're struggling, and you, 
you act and they're thinking, oh, he doesn't care. And then you come around with the arm around the shoulder to go, there, there, it's okay, I'll show you some tips. Drop the boom. They won't even see it coming. It'll just come out like nowhere. And, yeah, just have a joke with them, show them a few tips, and most important thing, guys, have fun, okay? I know I joke around a lot, and I'm making, like, a big story and drama out of it, but that is the main thing, really. Have fun while doing it, because it'll be funny if you're having fun, the girl's having fun, it's all good. They're going to have a good time. Vice versa, you're going to have a good time. So it's all good. That is what you want. And I was actually talking to Robot about this, and um, he's at uni, and he said his mate's got a PS3 in his dorm. And he said on multiple occasions, they've had like seven, eight girls in there playing FIFA. And you wouldn't expect a girl to know how to play FIFA or COD, but because it's fun and it's light-hearted and you just set them up quickly on it, and you just let them do their thing for 20 minutes, and then you come back and you joke and you laugh, and it is really good, and it gets, they like it, they want to play more, and it also works in benefit for you, because you seem like this guy who's having fun, wants to have fun. Oh my god, I nearly got triple spray here, and that would have been maybe the best moment of my life, maybe. Okay, I'm not talking about gameplay anymore. Um, that is it, guys, that is the main point, you're having fun, they're having fun, which is the golden ticket, almost. So, by all means, guys, next time a girl is around your house, and that she see the Xbox, don't hide away, don't say, I never use that thing, it just collects dust, it's just, it's there just to, I lean my weights against it, don't pull out them sort of lines, go, oh, do you, you want to have a go on it, and just be fun, and uh, obviously say, well, you're not going to be quite optic standard just yet, but give it an hour or two with me, the pro, and uh, we'll get you there, maybe, maybe in a few hours, we'll We'll do a tryout for a clan. We'll, we'll get you a little shit clan first. And then we'll work your way up. You'll maybe be in optic by this time next year. But you've got you've got to want it, okay? That's what you've got to say to him. You've got to want it. And that is it, guys. You've just got to joke with them. You've just got to have fun. So COD definitely, and Xbox in general, can definitely help your girls. It can show your fun. It can show you, like, you're, you're, willing, you're willing to help. You're a caring person. So definitely, guys. Next time girls around. Put on COD, be smart, 